Hello, and welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Gork, joined today by Brian Shea. Hey, everyone. It's just me and Leo Vader. It's me, too. That's what he meant. <laughs> That's what I meant. It's just me and Leo. What are we looking at, Shea? We're looking at We Happy Few. I feel like I've seen this game a million times now. Because it has been around forever. It's been in Steam Early Access for a long, long time. I want to say, what, like a year and a half now? Oh, my lord. And my we've seen it at, what, longer. three E3s now, I think? Yeah. I Something think I, like that. Did they announce it at Gamescom? Oh, it's been it's been out there for a while. So this is from Compulsion Games, mm -hmm. who you may remember from Contrast. So they still made it, though. That's something that has remained the same. Yes, they, okay. <laughs> they still made it. Okay. Uh, so the premise is you are in Wellington Wells, which is an archipelago. If some scientist had told a British the archipelago. Mm -hmm. Mars, Sorry, he's talking. Him. That's kind of rude of him. Uh, yeah, interrupting me. Um, and it was cut off from the rest of the world following the war. I'm assuming that is World War II. Oh, why are you assuming that? Because it's 1964 now. Uh, right, and they're talk, they talk about the Germans quite a bit. Okay, it checks out. Uh, <laughs> Stand down, Cork. <laughs> and uh, basically this... this series of islands has been cut off from the rest of the world and the government is now mandating that everybody takes this hallucinogenic mm -hmm. happy pill called joy mm -hmm. and this has not only you know forced everyone to be in like this blissful state but it also is getting rid of their memories and it is uh having a lot of adverse effects so it's a prequel to haze is what you're sure. trying to tell me that game that I surely played. So Absolutely. it's based on Equilibrium, the Christian Bale movie, is what you're telling Yes, me. obviously. So what's the playing of it? Very smart question. Thank you. What is the playing of it, James? <laughs> so right now we're in one of the towns, and uh, I'm not really doing much of anything, but what we can okay. do... So these are the bobbies. These guys will beat the crap out of you if you uh -huh. act up. Uh, I have a skill right now that makes it so I can stay out past curfew, and they don't do anything. But this thing will really mess me up if I don't... Oh, God. Now they are all chasing me. This was a... Huh. So it, it noticed that I am not on the joy medicine. Oh. Okay. So I am sober right now, so they don't like me too much. Uh, and if anybody notices that you are sober, like, you can be under, like... You can be quietly sober, but if you are like suffering symptoms of withdrawal or you've overdosed on joy, mm -hmm. then it's obvious that you're like not used to it or you're sober and they'll chase you. But like right now, I'm just regular sober boy. Can you take the joy for us? You can, yeah. So, can you show us what that's like? I'm gonna try to. We desperately want you to be so, a joy boy. Joy boy. Mm. Uh, so here is a booth that I can take some joy. So I marked it. As a waypoint. Mm -hmm. I also have a skill that if I sprint through the streets, it does not uh, oh, alert people because they don't like to be disrupted with erratic behavior. And yet a polka dot car is completely fine. Well, they all have... Uh, cars are, I don't think, allowed anymore because if you notice, they are all blocked out huh. where the tires are. Because of road rage. I don't know why uh, they're still on the roads, though. Yeah, that is weird. Leo, you can I'm starting to think this is a dystopian... Oh, setting. I want to live here. So let's take some drugs. All right. I think it's a slippery slope. So I wish you could choose your drugs. flavor. Uh huh. But you can only get strawberry, which is weird. Huh. All right. So here we are. We are now. Well, that feels entirely too good. We are now high as a kite. Okay. And we're prancing around. And if we were, if it was during the day, which it is currently not, mm -hmm. we can wait till during the day. So when I run, my hands go all frolicky. So why is this drug bad? Uh, well, it makes your memories go away, uh, which is a big reason that they're introducing it. So, like, they're trying to make everybody forget about all the awful things that have happened. And uh, right now we're in this we're in the town, but let's get out of the town. Uh, so you can see the map's pretty big. I have a lot of stuff. This is a mid-game save. I've beaten the game. This is the first campaign. There are three campaigns mm -hmm. total. Um, it's a level with us. What happens at the end? <laughs> So we're going to travel outside of this town. This we'll should... take joy afterwards so we won't remember. Come on, man. <laughs> Spill it. So these are the hatches that you can unlock. Uh, mm -hmm. you can do some crafting in here. 
can sleep to recover stuff. So if you remember the early access game, I don't know if you played the early access version. I watched Kyle do it, so I'll say yes. <laughs> so listen to this tune. Old Lady D Shay. <laughs> yeah. Check Sorry. out this laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> So it's the, it used to be a roguelike, <laughs> and it's not anymore. So it used to be very sandboxy, uh, and there's still a sandbox mode. But this is the story that we're uh, we're showing off right now, and it, it has survival elements that carried over from that mode. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now, uh, uh oh, I am now in withdrawal of joy. So people are not going to react kindly to me. I'm going to stab him with my umbrella. Okay. These uh, are regular people. Well, these are twins. These are gang members outside <laughs> of the city. So when, when you go outside of the town, Sleep. Clean. we've come to the end of our time. When you go outside of the town, uh, it's a completely different story because nobody's on Joy. Right. Oh, sure. Uh, they're kind of exiled from the town. <laughs> Um, hmm. Now, how visceral is the combat? What I was just going to ask how visceral is the combat. <laughs> Shay, can you take that question, please? Uh, it's pretty visceral. Okay. Right. Um, I don't even know if I have any healing stuff. Yes, I do. I have some healing stuff. So, are in the menus, can you show us some of the skills? Sure. So display? each character, there are three characters. Each one has a s- completely separate skill tree. So oh. this is Arthur. This is Arthur. Are they Arthur. all the same? Do, uh, like, what is, what is Arthur like versus the other two? So Arthur... Uh, here are his basic uh, attributes. He is mm-hmm. sar- defensive and sarcastic. He is repressed because he is English. Uh, Just them. He runs quite fast, mm-hmm. and he is unremarkable, which means he can hide in plain sight. Ah. Uh, whereas Sally, the second character that mm-hmm. you play as, is a chemist, so she can she has like access to other. Uh, concoctions that you can craft that other characters can't and then ollie who is the third character that you play as Mm -hmm. uh he is kind of like a brash like former soldier Mm. so he is like stronger in combat he can carry more stuff in his inventory uh do you switch between these characters at will or do you does it change their perspective depending on the campaign there are three acts yes and there's three characters three characters you switch as the axe switch. So they're essentially three separate campaigns because they take place simultaneously. Oh, do you run into versions of yourself? Oh, you might. Okay. Oh. Not so others. he's not confirming it, Leo, so we'll have to wait to see. Okay, Sorry. let's wait Maybe. And see. Uh, so is there any kind of endgame stuff with each character, or is it a short... I mean, not necessarily short, but a confined narrative. Well, it's certainly not short. I, uh, Very I, diplomatic. I clocked in at about 33 hours between the campaigns. Oh, wow. Uh, these guys really don't like me. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, I mean, once there, there is a definite final moment that like a cutscene plays and you, uh, that is the end of the story and you switch to the next act. Um, so you don't once like there's, there's that old message of after you pass this point, you will not be able to do anything else mm-hmm. in the, uh, stuff, Arthur, t- in the, in the story. Going. Uh, sorry, I have to drop some stuff. I just picked up some things. So you're saying you can beat the game? You can beat the game, yes. All right. Um, sorry for people who didn't want that spoiled, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this... uh, did you, were you surprised by the story? Did you think it was good? I thought it was actually pretty good. Um, okay. I was concerned that since it was like a thing that happened after the initial concept, that it would just feel kind of yeah. tacked on. Yeah. And, you know, it was added after the early access started. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, especially the third campaign, I really liked uh, in terms of like the story. There are some things that I don't like about, and I, I think I may have fallen through the floor here. All right. Oh, is that a skill? That is a. Jeez. S- so this is a great showcase for <laughs> the game. Um, did, did you experience much of this? Or I, is this a not, fluke? This is the first time I've actually fallen through the ground, but uh, I did have some problems where like a lot of uh, NPCs would fall through the ground when mm-hmm. I'm fighting them. Oh, well, that's uh, good. It's an epidemic in video games. <laughs> it happens all too often. Uh, but yeah, so there are some mechanics where I... Uh, like in the second campaign, you play as Sally, who is the chemist that I was talking about. But there is a mechanic that I will not spoil the reason behind, but mm-hmm. you have to go back to your house pretty frequently and tend to something. And it. Uh, a flower. Head, head's falling off. And. 
if you don't, your inventory space slowly disappears. So if mm. you just ignore it, you have you you can carry fewer and fewer items, and it makes it so like it's really annoying to have to bounce back and forth, like interrupt the flow of what you're doing and go back. Right. Take care a of this, and donkey then, that carries all your things. Yeah, it's really annoying. The donkey just will not will not cooperate whatsoever. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, he deserved it. Um, and then the third Just one, uh, Ollie, is he has like blood sugar problems, so you're constantly having to find uh, things to make glucose injections, and that can also be a little annoying because his stamina will drop to half if he's low on blood sugar, and also he'll be irritable, so he'll like hurl random insults at people that he's walking past, which attracts <laughs> yeah. a lot of fights. Speaking of irritable, are these systems fun? Where uh, something is constantly degrading. Whoa. Yeah, this is a lot buggier than I experienced uh, in my playthrough, but that's not, like I said, there were some bugs, but we're seeing kind of a greatest hits right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those mechanics I do not think are fun. They're interesting ideas, but they're not Yeah. Uh, what I would call fun things overall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you get sick from food poisoning or if you uh so let, we can, let's see if i have anything that is i don't have anything that's bad for my stomach i've always liked you actually that's good uh but if i were to take something i could make myself throw up with sick up tea okay uh so yeah i mean it's it's a fun game there are some problems with that mechanic let's just get really drunk what do you say yes. you, you're doing it drinking a lot of scotch right yeah. now I've never drank like multiple scotches, so let's see. Accurate. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was quick. That's Accurate. it. Oh god. Does it? Yeah. Does it give you a buff or anything? It or make it, it quenches your thirst. So like I, I was trying to explain this earlier, but I got sidetracked, which is the surprise of no one. Um, you have things like thirst, hunger, uh, shelter. Yes. Uh, uh, sleep and uh, other things Horny. like horniness, yes. Uh, all those things affect different elements. So, like, if you're not well rested, you won't fight as well. Mm -hmm. But you never, like, die from this stuff. Yeah. I don't know what I'm getting hurt by. Are you just getting sad that you're murdering people? Probably. Mild mannered Arthur? Are your shins scraping through the ground? And that's what's <laughs> that <hurting>? might be. <laughs> I mean, so combat. then, like, talk to me about the weapons, then. Like, right now you're using a pipe. Do weapons break? It looks like there's a meter. There is. Uh, certain weapons... I mean, if you craft a really good weapon, it won't break. Like, in my third campaign, I crafted an umbrella mm -hmm. that uh, was indestructible. And it also... Uh, it also shocked people when you hit them. This was for Ollie? For Ollie. Excellent. Uh, so I pay attention to you. <laughs> uh, that's not true at all. I'm reading a sheet right now. <laughs> I'm really trying to escape combat so I can uh, craft a healing item, but... You have to be out of combat? Correct? Yeah, you can't craft when you're in combat. You can't just hide in that tree and there's like a cover they, thing? They have to be completely disengaged. So that oh, the skull slowly yeah, draining. We might be in some serious trouble here. Look at those fists go. Oh, you got the uh, Jay. Oh, and I don't have anything to craft. Oh, boy. Oh, and it says currently in combat. Oh. I think I might be keeling over right now. <laughs> Jeff keeling over. Mid-fall. Wait, still, wait. Together. This is going to be interesting to see how this reacts. Cause I think I was falling over. Great. I did it. All nice. right. So, um, Shay, 30 hours. Steep yeah. commitment. Is it worth it? I think so. I think that it's a fun game. Uh, like I said, like you've seen, it has the, the a few technical problems. It has... Uh, oh, I know why they're fighting me. Because I'm wearing the wrong outfit. Gosh darn it. So if you're in the city, mm -hmm. you, you want to wear this proper suit because you want to look like you fit in. But if you're outside of the city... You want to wear the rubber you cat suit. You want to wear kind of... Well, you can wear the rubber cat suit. Uh, that will attract all kinds of attention. Um, so now I'm wearing a boiler suit. I've had a torn up suit, but I don't know where that went. Um, so you want to make sure you're fitting in uh, 
in whatever area you're in because mm-hmm. they don't like people from the city. So if you look like a person from the city, they'll try to attack you just like people in the city don't like people from the outskirts. So if you're wearing a torn up suit, they'll think you're from the outskirts and they'll attack you. So there's a whole thing about trying to conform with the, mm-hmm. uh, let's see if these guys like, the hell are you <laughs> Leo, do you like society? <laughs> <laughs> I like games with fully modeled societies. I believe I'm on the record as saying that. All right. Oh. Man. Um, this one I don't know about, though. Let's beat people with frying pans. Oh my goodness. They're throwing rocks at me. Shay, if I were to get you some Ritalin and say it was joy pills, would you take it? <laughs> no, I actually used to take Ritalin, believe it or not. Oh, I used to take a spinoff of Ritalin. Huh. Wow. Quirk, what medicine have you been forced to take? What medicine have I... See, I'm an old person, so they didn't care about kids then. So. <laughs> or they did care about kids. <laughs> Cared about them differently. So if you're killed, this uh-huh. is what happens. The newspaper says that you are on holiday because they don't want to ah. upset the people. Ah, a little bit of a lilt in your voice there. I holiday. Ah. That's holiday. a very authentic uh, British accent. Yeah that I picked up from 30 hours of We Happy Few. It's very good. So can you show us oh, a different character? Well. What happened? We are now Ollie, because I guess it loaded my most recent save right. after I died. <laughs> uh, so this is a different character. Well, You're welcome, Ru- Court. we should Ruth's probably not confirmed. show this, seeing as how this is the final scene of the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. All right, we're safely back to a place that we can be. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna city. we're gonna go run and do this quest. Mm-hmm. I sing the body electric. Mm. So let me throw on my gas mask here because electricity, right? Well, because we're going through some gas. There's only three forms of matter, and electricity isn't <laughs> solid. Let's get over here. Now, does anyone care you're wearing a gas mask? Um, it can make certain people suspicious. Ah, crap. There's a thing right there that detects you. So you see those... Uh, Just pop some joy, bro. Do I have any in my inventory now that you mention it? Because I'd like to not run all the way back to the thing. Yeah, let's pop some joy. Pop away, baby. Gameplay. Yep. With life for noise, pop a joy. There we go. This guy loves joy. That's what I always say. Are they releasing real joy pills? To coincide with the release. Oh of the game. man, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. It'd be awesome. Just free drugs for everyone who buys the game. Collector's edition. <laughs> I think Australia would probably have a problem with that. So they, they almost banned this game in the first place. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. It was banned and then like a month ago it was cleared for classification. Do you know what they changed? Nothing. They just, like, because the whole thing with Australia was they uh, did not want a game that incentivizes drug use. Yeah. Mm. Uh, And I guess they explained that it's actually, like, bad. So this guy, uh, it appears as though I have bribed him at some point in the past with a bottle of scotch. You can bribe these guys and they'll look the other way. Okay. Uh, So that is why he is drunk, I guess. Uh, I must have recently bribed him on this save. Or it was a very large bottle. Yeah, he's just been chipping away at it for days now. I like the idea that Australia didn't get that the joy pill thing was bad until they <laughs> had it them. What's this then? This game doesn't even have any conflict. It's just about how good drugs are. <laughs> All right, so... That was my Australian accent. It's very, it's very good. <laughs> Thank you. L- a little thick, though. Yeah, offensive this almost. This is a municipal work site, and you're not a municipal worker, are you? Huh? So clear off. All right, so I need to return in the boiler suit, which thankfully I already have in my inventory. Oh, okay. So we got lucky there, so I have to go search for a suit. Because that's another thing that I, I had a problem with in this game is there will be quests that are like, so that, for instance, return in a boiler suit, and mm-hmm. I uh, I just won't have that. Or I'll just need to go find one, and it's like I am searching everywhere trying to find this, and it just throws a break on my... Uh, Throws the brakes on my progress. Gotcha. So you don't craft it; you have to find it somewhere. But uh, you can awesome. craft it. But like in this case, I found it somewhere. Okay. I also just uh, ran out of 
my joy, so I'm going to take another pill so I'm not attracting negative attention. I'm in my Rocket boiler Central suit. Central sent me to help out. Oh, and I suppose you learned all about municipal infrastructure back at Central. I like to think I can figure a few things out. Oh, you can figure things out. Who needs 20 years of experience when the new lads can just suss it out with their eyes? Hey, let's all learn from the new lad. Oh, this seems fairly obvious. What's that sound? Oh, just He's knocking that? on the board over there. No, the other sound. Oh, it's we have a leak. Okay. So. Don't. Never heard it do that before. Oh dear. I. Uh. There's a tool I need. I'll just go get it. What did he do to it? Has anybody got a pipe? Ow. Oh my god. I should really have paid more attention when dad was banging on the plumbing. I hope they're not dead. So I need to get a key. Hand, it looks like I can get down now. Now we can use this hatch. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Hey, have you done this before? Are you feigning surprise for our <laughs> benefit? Oh man. <laughs> Be honest. I am completely shocked. So this is a, a hatch. There's hatches throughout the uh throughout Wellington Wells, mm -hmm. and you can use them for fast travel. I believe this one is actually a, a mission, so I'm supposed to go through and uh, solve getting this fire put out, and then I can go access the underground. And If I recall, yeah. this is a pretty big dungeon, so we won't see the whole thing. Right. Uh, and that's quite a puzzle, putting a fire out, too. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to do. So, oh. mm, getting crafty. There's your this. first. We go raw meat. Got it. Piece of evidence. Power's out on the elevator. I'll need to find a way to turn the juice back on. So I didn't put the fire out, but I did get behind the fire. So now I need to put the power back on. Mm -hmm. And like, there's puzzles kind of throughout. But it's not like a puzzle game, you know? Right. More, but, like, more like follow the cable to the thing. Yeah, the they're button. very simple puzzles. There's one that took me a little bit where it, like you're supposed to line up all these uh, these machines to cause a chain reaction in order to to do something, mm. and that took me a little bit. But other than that, I think that all of them are very straightforward. Yeah. Uh, so I need to turn the power on. So I just need to. Yeah, it's just. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! You're also He's a very genius. smart. I am very smart. I mean, oh my god! <laughs> Cork, are you seeing this? Yeah, I stunned silence. You I should might have not seen how long it took me. This video, actually, <laughs> it took me hours upon hours. That's why it was, it's actually only a ten-hour campaign. But right. Getting electrocuted. Now make sure there isn't a short circuit. Before oh. Fucking apprentices! I never fucking listen. I should mention this is rated M for mature. Ah. I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. Oh, do you have your umbrella now? What, for the fire? I see an umbrella and you're on the right side. Oh, yeah. Well, this is not the electrical one, but it right. is a sharpened uh, point, so it actually makes guys bleed if I hit them. Mm. Mm hmm. Yes. All right. Cork? I feel pretty good about this. <laughs> I think we've covered it. I think we've covered it too. Shay, thanks for taking us on a magical journey of We Happy Few. Hey, thank you for having me. And also, when is this out? It's out tomorrow, Friday, August 10th. What did you, you finished your review? I did finish my Are review. Are you at liberty to tell us what you gave us? I gave it a 7.75. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. Did you use the headline We Happy Pew? No. Okay, good. Uh, so Maybe next time. We, uh, since you were asking about it, I have the rubber cat suit on right now because it makes it so you can't be shocked by electricity. Classic. It hurts, but it doesn't stun me. And uh -huh. now I'm going to die. Die. So. Aren't we all? I'm well, going to die next to this guy. Yep. We're brothers in arms. <laughs> and legs. Shay, thank you so much. Leo, thank you. Thank you. And Both. viewers, thanks for watching. We Bye. love you.